So you've started to edit your very own YouTube videos, but you don't know what to do now. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over five different effects that you can incorporate in your YouTube video. These will actually take your YouTube videos from an absolute beginner level to something that's a bit more enjoyable for your viewers to watch. But with that being said, all the free presets will be down below in the description in a Google Drive. So make sure to go check that out for 100% free. And with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my PC. All right, guys. So I'm inside of DaVinci Resolve. That's actually what I'm going to be using for this. But some of the effects that I'm going to be showing in this video are super universal, so it shouldn't really matter that much. I'm just going to go into a new project and call it five effects video new or something like that. And then what I'm going to do once we're actually inside of our project, once it actually opens up, we're going to go into the edit tab. We're going to go to the file project settings, change the frame rate to 60 and just make sure that we actually have 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some sort of sample footage. So for me, what I always do is I work with like my intros whenever I'm doing examples like this. So I'm just going to take an example of one of my intros right here. And I'm pretty sure Surprising. this should be a good one right here so i'll just literally drag this in don't change frame rate and i'll drag it in right here so let me pretend that this is an intro itself right here and we're going to be basing all the effects off of this all right so the different effects i'm going to be covering in this are subtitles shakes transitions blurs and zooms so i'm going to show you the first thing it's super basic subtitles all you got to do you just drag a text node over top of right here so i actually revealed how we can see uh that it's actually over top of this so i'll just do so i actually revealed which is what I say in the thing. I'll change the font to whatever we want. Font that I would recommend you using is Luckiest Guy or Mont or Burbank. So keep those in mind. Then we'll change the color to whatever here. And then DaVinci Resolve also allows us to add stroke to our thing as well as drop shadow. And then we'll come over here to the settings, bring it down right here. How much and so I actually revealed how just like that, we actually have our first. So I actually revealed how much our first subtitle, just like that. Super easy. So that is actually the first effect. And then now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can animate it. So from there, we're going to click on it, right click new compound clip, and we have a compound clip. We're going to go into our fusion right here. You could either use transform or blur mode curves. Since I'm using blur mode curves later in the video and you will need the Sapphire plugins regardless, I'm going to be showing you blur mode curves for this. So at the beginning, we're going to keyframe the shift X to off the screen. So let's do negative 0.8 and then we'll come 11 frames in, change it to zero. Then we'll go around here keyframe at zero change it to 1.1 just like that should be good and then from there we're going to edit our spline if you don't have the spline open click on spline up here drag this over press the arrow thing right here press a troll a i mean and then just literally copy this graph just like that super basic so i so I just like that and that's how so you actually I, so animate I, your subtitles you can do the same thing with like shift y for example so i actually revealed how much so i look super weird with quarter resolution but you know this is just what it's gonna look like normally it's gonna look like that yeah so the second effect i'm gonna be showing you is shakes for your videos i've showed this in other videos you just need to click on the body of your footage click on it go into fusion then you'll press Control space shake it's gonna be s underscore shake press add press shift and drag it in at the same time then we're gonna change the amplitude to 0.35 change the frequency to 0.2 so I actually just like that you get your shake in your video and we can see that it's actually really giving you some movement worth. And then around the edges right here and what we could do is we could literally just take the shake press Control c to copy it go into here and we could also put it on our uh, our text too so that's also super cool so thing. I put that on the on the subtitles and have consistent moving throughout the entire thing all right so the next thing is actually be transition so imagine we have two separate clips right here we want to transition between the two you can add an adjustment layer above this separation right here and and let me make sure I have the mag tool on. So yeah, we can add an adjustment clip above the two, go inside of it. And then from there, what you'll actually want to do is you'll actually want to add one of the transition presets that I'll have in the description. And let's say you want to do the swipe up. You add that in, you press shift and click, drag it in to connect. Or what you can do is if you don't have it in, you could double click here, manually draw the line between these right here, and then go to your keyframes, press this arrow. We can see that the keyframes are over here. So we're going to drag them over here and and they aren't quite inside yet. So we'll actually drop this down, select all of them. 
line them up with our inspector right here just like that so that's actually how we add really the third work. effect which is really the transition work. so it's super super easy the next thing i'm showing you is how to do blurs and zooms so the first thing gonna be zoom we're actually gonna do this all in one so, so we're gonna do a zoom and a blur so just add an adjustment layer from our effects tab right here just drag it over top shorten it down go inside of it right here and then we're gonna add blur mode curves it's the same one that we actually used for our transitions and on the first frame we're gonna keyframe it at say 0.4 that's zoomed in do you want to come like 30 frames after maybe 25 change it back to one and then come here to your graph and just follow this graph right here super easy and then we're also gonna do a lens blur you do gaussian i mean but lens blur just looks so much better so this is how you actually do a blur for your videos which is gonna be the fifth and final effect drag it in press Control shift and then just keep on adding these drop downs right here we can see that it's super blurry we don't want that right now but literally just keep on hitting all these drop downs until you get to the very very bottom where you can change the iris scale um, remember 28 frames is where you have the other keyframe so literally set whatever iris scale you want so for me i'm gonna do eight i'm gonna keyframe it at eight i go to the beginning keyframe it at eight and then we'll go back here change it back to zero so we can see that that's a bit linear so we're actually going to get rid of the z distance so we can only see the graph for the blur and we are going to edit it the exact same as our blur mode curves. but yeah guys that was actually five effects for your next youtube video uh to actually take it to the next level with that being said i hope you guys did learn something all the presets will be down below in the description for 100 free and i hope you guys did enjoy the video peace out